So we will now look at vector and parametric equations of lines in both R2 and R3. So let's start with R2 for a moment. And let us assume that we have, for instance, uh, x0, a point, which we can write as a vector as well. And we want to find the equation of a line, okay, that is parallel to, say, this vector v, okay. So let us, if we assume that this is the point x0, and this suppose uh, would be any point x on this line. So this would be the point x on this line then this vector here would clearly be x minus x0. And clearly, uh, x minus x0, since this line is parallel to v, x minus x0 should be parallel to some parameter t times v, which means that, in fact, x is equal to x0 plus t times v. And that is the equation of a line in R2. So in order to now extend this idea to that of a plane, um, okay, so if we imagine that this um, x0 is, a, let's say that x0 is a point in this plane, and let us assume that um, these collinear vectors, v1, and these are collinear vectors, non-collinear vectors, v1 and v2 non-collinear, no matter they are not on the same line. Now, uh, if we construct uh, and say that x uh, is a vector, so if we construct now this parallelogram such that we end up with this parallelogram, okay, which we can, which we can quite easily construct, then, um, then we have the relationship uh, a very straightforward relationship, which is that the vector x minus x0, in fact, is, of course, the sum of um, v1 plus v2. But we want to have some flexibility as to where x0 uh, is going to lie. So in order for us to do that, we can multiply uh, v1 by t1 and v2 by t2. This will enable us to lengthen v1 and v2 any length we want so that we can uh, we can look for the particular line of interest um, uh, to us. So uh, this is only to help us with the flexibility of the point x0. Now if we look at this, this from this pops out the actual equation rather quickly and we see that in fact the equation of the plane okay, is simply this. So that gives us the equation of the plane uh, for uh, for a point, uh, uh, equation of a plane containing the point x0 and in parallel to the non-collinear vectors v1, v2. So that's that one. Now the last thing we want to look at is when we look at parametric equations, the parametric equations, uh, in order to look at the parametric equations associated with both these ideas, you will, we assume that in the first case, in say, let's call this one. So in one, we are of course assuming that xy, um, this equation is xy is x0, y0 plus t times um, ab, where v is the, vec uh, v is the, uh, the vector ab, for instance. So what we get from this is the equations So we end up with these two parametric equations. In a similar way, we could easily get the parametric equations associated with the associated with the vector equation of the plane. And in that case, we end up with x. Uh, basically, we are looking at x, y, z is equal to x0, y0, z0 plus. So let's say t1 into a1, b1, c1 plus t2 into a2, b2, c2. Then we end up with x is equal to x0 plus t1, a1, uh, plus t2, a2. And y is clearly y0 plus t1, b1, 
plus T2B2 and Z is Z0 plus T1 uh, C1 plus T2 C2. So these are the parametric, uh, parametric equations associated with the uh, with the two vector equations that we have considered here. We stop.